I'm at the DMV. So I've decided that with everything changing, I'm going to move back to where my mom is. Um, I don't know how many of you know, but she has cancer and I'm going to move back to Louisiana here and help her out. And I'm going to get a license here. And since I totaled my car, by the way, completely totaled, um, I'm going to get another car here and be in Louisiana for a while. Thinking about going back to LSU and getting a degree in computer science, but I'll keep you guys updated on how that works out. One more note for the record. It's only been a few days since I shaved and it's already needing to be shaved again. So this is gonna be, I'm not used to this. I was used to it in the military, but the shaving every day, it's gonna get interesting. I got lazy, didn't have to shave every day, but we'll see. Ooh, I'm back in bed with a heating pad on and took some Tylenol. I'm, I'm telling you, this wreck messed me up more than I thought it did. Like sitting in those DMV chairs was not fun. I was there for like an hour and I had to get up several times. So this is where this is at, just to give you a shot of that. Um, I don't know, it, it seems like it's getting better, but then it's gonna be a scar for sure. But then um, it's like something will catch the scab and then it'll start bleeding again. But so yeah, I, at least I was able to get something accomplished today. I consider that a good day the way I'm feeling right now. And yeah, back's hurting, neck's hurting. And my knee has been tricky. Oh, and then you know how you, as time goes on, you feel things. These two fingers, I must have been grabbing the steering wheel because these two fingers feel like they've been pulled and they kind of, that hurts. They can't even touch. <laughs> so, and my thumb on the hand I'm holding the phone with, I'm actually holding my thumb up like this because if I, if I squeeze too hard with my thumb, it kind of hurts, but that has to be the steering wheel. So get, hopefully this won't last too long and then I'll, I'll be better. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm going to make a, I think I'm going to make a doctor's appointment and see if I'm taking the right things. I have a a chiropractor appointment on the 4th and hopefully they can tell me what's out of whack in my back. That's making it hurt. I feel like that. I'm a rhymer. I know. And see what's making it hurt. So I'll let you guys know it. That would be, I'm, and this is all going to be in this video, but tomorrow is when my chiropractor is. So hopefully they can tell me if I need to do more or less or probably less because I'm trying to get stuff done. But today all I did was the was my driver's license because after sitting in the car and then sitting in those DMV chairs, whew, I needed a heating pad and some, some Tylenol. So I'll keep you guys updated. When I actually, when I start to feel a little bit better, I'm going to try to get up and shave this. But that was actually, my thumb is, it's not helping with that either. So we'll see. Ooh. Okay. So this is my second time shaving. It seems like you guys are liking the shaved look better. I need a haircut. I'm gonna do that later. But so just to fill you in while I'm doing this, I went to the chiropractor today. And yeah, it's I'm glad I did. The pain is is actually getting worse, not better. So I'm hoping that it's like really sore. This hurts to do, honestly. But, you know, I can't just lay in the bed all day, every day. I gotta be, gotta at least get up and try to move around. But, um, so let me update you on the pain areas after going to the chiropractor and having her touch, you know, all over and feeling for what's hurting me and what's not. Um, it's my right ankle, my left knee, a little bit in my right ankle, but it's not that bad. I think my ankles, my feet must have hit the pedals or something when I got in the wreck. Um, let's see, um, my lower, lower back on my left side and, um, 
my mid back is probably it's either between my mid back and my neck my upper back hurts a little but my mid back and my neck are bad like right now it's aching um my jaw a little bit right here like probably from hitting the airbag um my left elbow where this is um and the joint and then i already got headaches but drop that. i already got headaches oh that was not smart to do with my neck um because i've gotten worse Hard to do in the camera. I think I got it. I'm gonna let you guys see something very interesting behind the curtain. Um, this is how hard it is to get up right now. <laughs> it hurts so bad. See, I'm telling you it's my mid back. <sighs> Oh gosh, still can't put my thumb on the phone, the phone I'm holding, the hand I'm holding the phone with, still can't put that thumb up. And then these two fingers, like, it's getting to where I can't grip anything. <laughs> Thought it was supposed to be getting better, but that's just a little insight. And I'm gonna make myself stand straight up to, oh. there you go. So I feel like I'm 90 years old. Back in the bed for the night and um, my back's, had it for the day it's only seven o'clock at night but i think i'm done for the week filming um i gotta edit and put it up tomorrow uh go back to yesterday when this video comes out and you'll see that i did kind of like a q a slash podcast uh slash shout out to the fans kind of thing and uh, go check that out one more thing other than my back and neck and stuff and my thumb still can't hold the phone um, here's your injury update for my elbow. That's just uh, tape that stuck. But there it is. Still pretty deep on those spots, I believe. But everything else is kind of healed up. It's going to be a pretty nasty scar, I think. All right. Well, thanks for watching everything this week. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully I can do these. We'll see.